In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Wow, look at them having issues. That's funny. Lover of ladies here, like my video, share my video, leave your comments below because I just love talking to you guys. But most importantly, please subscribe to the channel. That way you'll be able to get daily gaming content from me and hit the notification button as well so you know when I upload my videos. All right, let's go. A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. <laughs> Protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. I love how I have like 10,000 guns right on my back here. Ooh. Creating a public disturbance. It's against Citadel regulation. That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? Are there laws being broken here? I am not unreasonable. Okay. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. So if the Hanar gets a permit, it's allowed to preach? No. Registered what? evangelicals must follow regulations. There are specific areas where preaching is legal. Failure to follow the regulations results in the forfeiture of the license. What's the purpose behind the evangelical permits? Forcing religious evangelicals to register for a permit weeds out undesirables. Oh. It keeps the area safe. Okay, the for Citadel safety is too reasons. To become a battleground for a religious war. Okay, so for safety reasons and also to eliminate any unnecessary bull shit information they're regulating it okay if you'd like i could talk to the hanar for you i have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon you excuse me come on lay off the insults c-sec officer anyways do you desire to learn of the enkindlers or has the honorable c-sec officer enlisted assistance what's going on here the CSEC officer requests that this one purchase an evangelical permit to spread the truth of the Enkindlers. So what's wrong with that? If that's all the CSEC officer wants, why not just buy the permit? Yeah. The truth of the Enkindlers is universal. This one humbly believes that the truth should not be suppressed. Exacting payment as a means of imposing limits upon the truth is an abrogation of this one's religious freedom. Uh, no, it's not. If you need to do a permit just to preach, then... So you're breaking the law by preaching without a permit right now? The CSEC officer states that preaching in this place is forbidden, and preaching anywhere on the Citadel requires a permit. This one humbly submits that it is not preaching to state the truth of the Enkindlers, and thus no permit should be necessary. Oh, uh, look at him trying to, uh, gaslight people. Come on, bro. Who are the Enkindlers? Your people know them as the Protheans. They are the true creators of this one's people. The Enkindlers raised the Hanar from ignorance into consciousness by granting this one's people the gift of speech. If that's all the CSEC officer wants, when oh, I already did that. Sorry. The truth of the Enkindlers is universal. Okay, this so regardless of the fact the that it's universal, then get the permit. Exacting as a means of imposing limits upon the truth is an abrogation of this one's religious freedom. Dude, just buy the permit. The CSEC officer is just doing his job. You're causing trouble. This one is too humble to suggest that the CSEC officer is personally biased. 
This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. What if I purchase the evangelical permit for you? Finances are only a partial limitation. This one does not believe that one should pay in order to speak the truth. However, this one also does not possess the 150 credits necessary to purchase the permit. Of course you don't have the funds for it. 150 credits. This should cover you. This is a most appreciated action. You are not of the Hanar, but you wish to help spread the truth of the Enkindlers. This one will not cause any further trouble for the CSEC officer. Good, that's all I this needed. This one offers its thanks. Of course. Alright, are we good now? I see the Hanar is left. Thank you. Happy to help. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. Thank you. Okay, so basically, he wants to preach the truth, but he thinks it's bogus that he has to get a permit. Which, fine. Preaching should and have its limitations. But due to safety concerns, obviously, there's a time and a place to preach. Obviously, the preacher didn't have any money, so why not just give him the said money? There you go. That's it. Anyways. Alright, so map... Wait, so the bank is here? This is the bank? Oh, Barla Vaughn. There you are. What's this? One of the Earth Clan. Yes. Ah, a very famous one, yes? Am I? You are the one called Shepherd. The tale of how you survived the great tragedy on Akuz is truly remarkable. I am amazed each time I hear it. You've got me at a disadvantage here. Forgive me, Earth Clan. My name is Barla Vaughn. My job makes it necessary for me to keep informed. I am a financial advisor to many important clients here on the Citadel. When someone as important as yourself arrives on the station, I take notice. Wow. So he's definitely nosy. <laughs> nosy as hell. I heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Do you have any information about Saren? You're very blunt, Shepard. Yep. But you're right. I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. Surprise, and surprise. I do know something about Saren. Surprise, surprise. Nope. I need that information now. Threats don't work on me, Commander. Wait, that wasn't this a threat. That was a... a small fortune. But this is an unusual situation, so I am going to let you have it for free. Well, thank you. What's the catch? There is no catch. The Shadow Broker is quite upset with Saren right now. They used to do a lot of business, until Saren turned on him. Wow, that's why he's offering it for free. He's doing our revenge. Saren's turned on a lot of people lately. I don't know the details, but the Shadow Broker hired a freelancer to deal with it. A Krogan mercenary. How do I find him? I heard he was paying Citadel Security a visit. If you hurry, you can probably catch him before he leaves the CSEC Academy. Okay, Isn't it good to know. That a Krogan would want to speak with CSEC? Very. However, I doubt the visit was entirely his choice. Really? You'll need to speak with him if you want to know more. Tell me more about your job. Galactic finance is incredibly complex. A mix of laws and regulations from dozens of interstellar economies. I'm an expert in how all these economies interact. For a fee, I share my expertise. Because knowledge is power. I also offer premium services for those clients who need someone to conduct business without drawing unwanted attention. Discreet and efficient. That's my motto. Sounds pretty shady. Everything I do falls completely within the bounds of interstellar commerce law. So he's covered, Even that's so, it. many of my clients would prefer their transactions remain Undisclosed. Under the table business. For example, okay. Suppose a Hanar ambassador was petitioning the council to reduce tariffs on Hanar goods. How would it look if he had money invested in a Hanar exporting company? Even if his true motives were to help his people, he would be accused of advancing the petition for his own personal gain. I can keep his personal finances private. 
Wow, so you're like Google's version of incognito. That's interesting. Tell me more about the shadow broker. Most people think I deal in finances, but my real currency is knowledge. I trade information, and it has made me very wealthy. But the shadow broker is the true master. Every day he buys and sells secrets that could topple governments, always giving them to the highest bidder. Yet somehow he never seems to upset the natural balance of power. All those secrets being passed around seem to even out. Nobody ends up with an advantage in the end. Any guess what his identity might be? Do you have that I information? Don't <gasps> you don't. Does. I'm surprised. The shadow broker could be any race, any gender. I have a theory that it's actually an entire group working under one identity. Like How Anonymous. How else could they juggle so many contacts at the same time? How else could they keep all that information from getting crossed? But they've got the perfect setup. Every government is forced to play their game so they don't get behind. But no matter how long you play, no matter how many secrets you buy, you can never win. I thought you'd know more about the man you work for. Yeah, knowledge is power, am I right? From time to time I come across information I sell to the Shadow Broker. That's my only involvement. I like it that way. The more you know, the more dangerous the game becomes. I don't like danger, Commander. I'll leave that to you. Wow, is that... You know, I, f I have a feeling that's kind of like a foreshadowing of some kind. What's it like living here on the Citadel? With that specific statement. The station statement. is without a doubt the greatest wonder in the galaxy. It is a technological marvel, but its true splendor goes much deeper than the hull and engines. From the Presidium to the wards, the entire station is a testament to the success of the Council. All the species of Citadel spaced together in a single, strong community. What makes the Presidium so special? It is the political center of Citadel space. Eighty percent of all intelligent species in the known galaxy acknowledge the Council's authority on interstellar matters. But only the most powerful and influential species have embassies here in the Presidium. This level of the station is reserved for the elite, Shepard, people like us. So that's why I'm here, because I'm part of the elite. What are the wards like? That's nice. The cultural heart of the galaxy. They pulse with the lifeblood of millions of citizens from dozens of different species. You never know what you'll find down in the wards, Commander. It's always full of surprises. Hmm. Fortunately, most of them are pleasant. Okay, so it's not like Area 51, but... Okay. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Thank you, Borla Vaughn, for your insightful information. Wait, what is that? What is this? The statue's insane. Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 3. Here in the Financial District, a number of businesses offer various goods and services to their exclusive clientele. The statue you see before you was commissioned to honor the Krogan soldiers who gave their lives to protect Citadel space during the Rachni Wars. That makes sense. In the aftermath of the Krogan rebellions, several embassies petitioned to have the statue removed. Why? However, this motion was eventually quashed by the Council. Tell me more about the Krogan rebellions. In recognition of their efforts during the Rachni Wars, the Krogan were granted several new colony worlds by the Council. Over the next 400 years, the Krogan species began to expand. Blessed with an extremely high birth rate, their numbers began to swell. Oh, they were, they were sleeping around like rabbits. Crisis, the Krogan started a violent colonization of nearby worlds inhabited by other Council species. The Krogan rebellions had begun. For a full century, the Council and its member species fought to bring the Krogan under control. With the aid of the newly discovered Turian Empire, they were ultimately successful. Wow, that's crazy. So just because they were overpopulated, they had to, like, eliminate a good number of them? You needed the Krogan to stop the Rachni. Then you needed the Turians to stop the Krogan. So who's going to stop the Turians? I am sorry, but that question is beyond my programming parameters. The Turians are members of the Citadel Council. 
They are not a threat to galactic peace. For now. Why did the Council fight so hard to keep the statue? The Krogan were instrumental in saving the galaxy from the Rachni threat. The Council believed this historical fact should not be forgotten. The Council also hoped that preserving the memorial would improve diplomatic relations with the Krogan and bring about a peaceful resolution to the rebellions. Unfortunately, the Krogan refused to negotiate and only surrendered after their population and homeworlds had been ravaged by the Turians. Wow, that is so sad. What were the Rachni Wars? Nearly 2200 years ago, Explorers seeking to expand Citadel space opened up mass relays leading to systems controlled by the Rachni. A highly intelligent and aggressive insect race, the Rachni unleashed a war of conquest against the rest of the galaxy that lasted for nearly three centuries. The emergence of the Krogan finally turned the tide in favor of the Citadel species. Krogan forces provided the numbers necessary to halt the Rachni advance and drive them back. The Krogan then pursued their retreating fleets. Able to survive the harsh environments of the Rachni homeworlds, the Krogan hunted their enemy to extinction. Was it really necessary to wipe them out? I am sorry, but a value judgment of that nature goes beyond my programming. Of course, goodbye. That's all for now. Thank you for of course, the robot wouldn't have the emotional capacity to even have that type of judgment. Chill. Sorry. Okay, so... Wait, what's this? Okay, okay. Alright. The following message was transmitted from an untraceable account to multiple recipients across the extra net. Further monitoring of the situation is warranted. My fellow Baltic, you have been selected to receive this transmission because of our shared plight. Few understand us, fewer tolerate us. We must stand together. We must build our own new world. Come, join us in the Hawking Ada Cluster. Only as one body can we fight the wrongs done to our kind. Ooh, sounds like someone's plotting! Binary Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. I just love how we have like an elevator montage. Ashley, why are you like posing? So this is the academy, huh? Oh, I see something. Is this it? Or are you it? Hold on. Talk. Talk, please! No? No, okay. Oh, it's my, uh... That was one of my... Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. Ooh, this is your spicy. only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. Wow, too spicy. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Are you okay? Why are you so, like, angry? Go on. Get out of here. Yes, human. I'm trying to bring down Saren. Barla Vaughn said to talk to you. Barla Vaughn is a wise man. We may share a common goal, human. Enlighten me. I've been hired to kill the owner of Korra's den. Oh, wow. Fist. So bluntly. Did something very foolish. Like what? Give me the what details. I want the gossip. He betrayed the Shadow Broker. A Quarian showed up here on the Citadel. She was on the run. She wanted to trade information for a safe place to hide, so she went to Fist. He promised to arrange a meeting between her and the Shadow Broker. Instead, he contacted Saren. What does Saren have to do with this? Well, the Corian has something that connects Saren to the Geth. He paid Fist a small fortune for her. If we get our hands on that evidence, we can prove that Saren's a traitor. Why are you the so loud? To to us. Why are you so loud? Like, keep it quiet, Caden. Damn. Where's the Corian now? Last I heard, Fist still had her. 
probably somewhere inside his club. You help me kill Fist, she's all yours. I want to know more about your employer. Yeah, what's the gossip there? Can't tell you much. What? You too? All I got was a coded message with the details of the job. Standard procedure. What about Garrus, that Turian? He wants to take Saren down too. He might come in handy. He was here just before you showed up. Really? Said he was going to follow up a lead on his investigation. Wanted to speak to the doctor at the med clinic. Move out. Wait, hold on. I can add him to the squad? Wow, I didn't know I can do this. This is amazing. Wow, I can actually... Oh, this is so dope. I love this. Alright, so yeah, that's a... Uh... Wait, I'm only able to pick... Uh-huh. Oh no, so I'm only able to pick two? You know what? That's it. Sorry, buddy. I know he was excited, but honestly, I'm good. Oh no. I I can't really get into the details. But Shorbin will kill me if I leave here unprotected. I can't help you. Not unless you give me something more to go on. I I can't. I'm sorry. Hey there. Hi. Oh, you're not CSEC, are you? Did you want something? What were you trying to explain to the officer before? My colleague is trying to kill me. Why, though? That's crazy. We How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. That's suspicious. That's Yesterday, weird. He followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. Is there something I can do? Uh... Talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. He thinks he can just push me around, but you'll show him, won't you? Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Oh, right. Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. His name's Shorbin. He's a Salarian. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. Well, good luck. Wow, poor guy. He, I don't know if he's being paranoid because his friend has changed on him, but a concern is still a concern. So I'm definitely going to check this out because if his friend is actually trying to kill him, I actually want to know why. That way we could prevent this from happening. In remembrance of Eden Prime, we present another Profile in Courage with serviceman Nirali Bhatia. A devoted wife and talented chef, serviceman Bhatia joined the Alliance military under the Deferred Education Plan. After finishing her service, Bhatia planned to open a restaurant. Nice. Instead, she gave her life protecting the colonists of Eden Prime. Aww. For more profiles in Courage, or to explore opportunities in the military, please visit the Alliance Military on the Extranet. Keyword, Courage. Ah, she sacrificed her hopes and dreams of creating a good restaurant just to serve in the army. I mean, more power to her, but that that's, I don't know, that sucks, I'm not gonna lie. Welcome, I am Nelina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Honestly, Nelina, high key, I'm just lost. I am just so lost because of how big this map is. 
But anyways. Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. What do you do here, Nalina? I'm one of the consort's acolytes. Many of the people here today will not see the consort, but they expect to be attended to just the same. It's our job to ensure that they leave contented. Contented? What do you mean by consort? Is she kind of like for pleasure purposes? What is the consort? What does she do? Mm, it's difficult to explain. Really? She's many things to many people and something different for each. How some generic. Some for advice, some for entertainment, mm -hmm. others still for pleasure. Giggity giggity! Most of the time, our clients won't realize what they were seeking until after she has provided it for them. You make her sound like some kind of oracle. No, not in the usual sense. She's merely a woman. A woman with remarkable compassion and a generous spirit. I suggest you make an appointment and see for yourself. Really? Look at her trying to give me a spiel. And honestly, that is the most generic description I've ever heard in my life. And even with that description, I still don't even know what she does. What do you do here, Nalina? I'm one of the consort's acolytes. Oh, I already did this Many option. Dang, I'm sorry. The consort, but mm -hmm. they expect to be attended to just mm -hmm. the same. Oh, yeah. It's our job to ensure that they leave contented. What exactly do you attend to? There you go. Well, each acolyte has her unique abilities. Some soothe with song, others with conversation. As much as possible, we seek to match the needs of our clients to the skills of our acolytes. My specialty is touch. Uh -huh. My fingertips can find every tension point in your body and relieve it. Oh, so you're like a masseuse, basically. I'd like to try out your services. Excellent. I'll add you to our client list. We should be able to see you in mm, mm, three or four months. Three or four months? Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? Three or four months? That's like a whole season on my channel. I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Nalina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with her. Oh, oh, VIP status, huh? Yes, of course, mistress. Mistress? Oh. Oh, oh, yeah, she's definitely a consort of some sorts. Mistress? You know huh. some freaky it stuff is happening. The consort has taken notice of you. Mm -hmm. She'd like to meet with you now. What does she want to see me for? I don't know. You'll have to ask her yourself. Oh, Just wow. Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. I'm a little bit nervous now. Did you see the way she was caressing that wall? Oh my goodness, maybe she wants to do the same thing with me. This is my first time. I can't believe I didn't come sooner. Mm, oh wow, someone is uh, excited. You're with the Alliance? Um, private, back on Earth. Oh, that's cool. If I see him, I'll say hi. I'm nervous. What does this consort want with me? Does she want to seduce me or something? I mean, I wouldn't mind. If it's a woman, I don't mind being seduced. In this game, specifically. In real life, the only woman I want to be seduced by is my girl. That is close enough, command. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our citadel. I don't like people spying on me. I apologize, Commander. Mm -hmm. I make it my business to know when important people arrive on the station. Oh, I'm important. Many of them become clients. Mm -hmm. But that is not why I asked you here. Okay, thank I have goodness. I a problem that could use your expertise. Maybe I can help. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Korra's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. This den is so... If you so... speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe oh. he will listen to you and let the matter be. Why are you caressing my face and lips, bro? Like... What happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. What exactly do you want me to tell him? Appeal to a sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. 
If you can convince him why to is she me, I wow very grateful. why is she rubbing herself on me does she know that Everyone i'm must ask you to take your leave i have many clients waiting to see me did you see the way she was rubbing on me does she know that i like women like that please commander i ask that you return to me only after you have spoken with septimus okay sure holy cow the way that she mm. Mm -mm. Mm, crazy. Ashley, what do you think about that? I can't tell the aliens from the animals. That sounds racist. Hmm. I get the feeling they're not used to seeing Krogan walking around up here. Don't worry, um, uh, Wax. I got you, my boy. As long as you're part of my crew, I don't I won't let anyone bully you. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you guys next week.